Hello YouTubers, I'm doing another descaling process for my main Suzuki 225, my um, pretty much oldie since I got it 2006, 2006 or 2007. The fellow tell me this was a uh, a lake boat, which is on the pontoon, had about 500 hours altogether, and then um, by the look of it, it's not too bad. Now today I'm doing a descaling process, which is doing it correctly by a sump pump pumping the uh, descaling fluid directly into the water intake hole of the lake. I'm doing an impeller to this outboard too. So, again, same setup with a battery powered sump pump. The skinny tube, which is coming from the P. Um, so now the engine is full of power, of water, uh, scaling, descaling fluid. So, uh, by this way, any passages would be um, exposed to this fluid or chemicals. This is probably the safest way to do it without running the motor, without wasting the fluid. It is quite expensive. Quite expensive. So um, now I'm just about done. So I'm taking. I'm stopping the battery. And then uh, the, the water was green to start with. Now it's kind of a murkish brown. I mean, there's a lot of stuff coming out of the engine. Um, I haven't done this to this engine for the last 15 years, or 14 years. Um, I put about between 50 to 100 hours per season, mostly going out fishing for salmon. Um, has been really happy. Um, even it's a two-stroke fuel and oil injected. It's a multi-port fuel injection. So therefore, they run like a little car. And uh, so far, it's really nice. Um, all the cylinders is about 130 to 135 even. And then for a boat like this. took about four or five seconds to digging out of the hole. So planning really quickly. And also can um, running around 40 to 45 miles per hour, um, 4,500, just a shy of 5,000 RPM. So the fuel consumption is more than the four stroke. But considering the four stroke's cost for this size, you are looking at about $25,000. So I'm really happy I got this one since 2006 and uh, hasn't been happier than never get quit. And uh, I'm doing an impeller. This is about five years. The impeller looks, must be uh, curled. So put a new one in there. My little trusty 9.9 .9 Yamaha also is a 94. So this is a 494 combo. 94 Yamaha 9.9 four stroke uh, Suzuki 2.7 liter or 225 um, two strokes 94 the boat is about I don't know 94 the guy tell me 94 probably not 94 but the trailer is 94 so the whole um, rigs has been doing really well I also removed I'll show you the uh, the engine cover. I removed the engine cover, so see the inside is nice and flat. No engine cover like a bumps in the middle. So when you are doing fishing, you can walk around without watching your foot. I didn't do anything to the interior, so it's still the original. So far, so good.
I might put a bulkhead to it to close the cabin and then uh, for the age of this boat I don't know how much I want to invest into it I might pick up a 150 four stroke Yamaha to replace this if the things start going down but so far for the budget wise this is probably the best combination I've been having for the last many many years the little little guys is so trustworthy I put very little hours on there too about 500 hours a year to uh, trawling salmon so you can see the little one is in very very good shape I've taken care of it so it's not uh, being abused and then those two it's on hydraulic stirring see whether there's a shackle linkage there it's a spindle linkage so either engine can up and down freely without interfering to each other only thing I have to keep an eye on that is my see my ram main cylinder the seal is weakened so it's leaking hydraulic fluid so I have to put them in there once upon a time maybe once a year and once I start tilting the trim starts like a jerking a little bit I know there's low fluid so put something in there so far I'm not really uh, considering concern too much so there we go thank you so much for youtubers uh, this is a correct way to do the descaling remove something inside nasty building up um, I was told the ocean application is not as bad as the river or lake operation but I'm not taking that as a comfort so I'm still doing this I, I can tell that I removed something from the engine this fluid was pure green beautiful green now it's darker brown there's tons of stuff salt calcium stumps been dissolved into it so after this I'll stuck fresh water hose in this bucket I'll dump this put the fresh water there and uh, let the fresh water flush it through for a few minutes so they'll clean up all the chemicals inside alrighty thank you so much so for youtubers good fishing safe boating have a very nice day bye bye